So, so that I don't forget, because there's some key points that this is not a long meeting. This is a meeting, as we discussed, to change the business from being normal. Our children are not criminals. Our children are not gang members. You know, this is our community. This is our future. And we gotta be committed to our children. We gotta be committed to our future. It's gonna be a lot of work, but we can do it one another. You know, it's not Hollis or Hollis. It's not St. Louis for St. Louis. It's not 40. It's not Paisley. It's not Rochdale. It's not Hop City. It's not Lockton. It's not Rosedale. And all the other St. Louis, West Side Mary, North Side. Everybody got a different set. You know, we want set. We want set. We want one. We come together when our children's blood is laid in the street. We come together, unfortunately, too often for that. Now we gotta come together for peace. We gotta break those um, invisible lines and separate our different communities and separate our children. You know, when you go to other parts of New York City, it's crazy. You can't go across the street. You can't go to the next house in front of it. So we, we cannot let that breathe in here stop this Queens. We can't. And the way we stop it is with us coming together and saying, that we're not gonna, you know, allow that to happen anymore. Um, so, what we say is everybody has a role. Everybody has a role. Last week, we met with um, the, the chief out here in the South of Queens, Chief Sufrido, and we met with another young brother, Donzel Clear. And we spoke about the, the need to come from the top down and from the bottom of the top. So that one of the things that we were talking about is that unfortunately with the, the heavy stop and frisk and different police situations that happen in our community, people get mad. They get mad and they don't take down they take down each other. They go home, they get on their bike, they go home, they beat their children, or they go on the block and they yell at the man. That's it. So that we have to change the nature of the relationship between the, the police out here and us from both sides. So we want to see, we come on the scene to help. For peace, you know, um, from any side of the point of view. And we have to learn to respect those people, I mean us, as well as the other side has to respect us. And we have to create work relationships to resolve the nature of how we relate. And the inspector from the 113th precinct is committed to that process. Inspector um, McAvoy from the 103rd is also committed to that process, and the chief is committed to that process. And we are all committed to that process, so we know we're going to make it work. And the inspector is here today to, to represent that process and just to speak a little bit about that. Sorry, I'm not taking too long. Thank you. Thank you. When we all go back to our communities, the most important thing, beyond the pain, beyond any hate or negativity, is, is the love of us. Love one another till it hurts. Even if you see, you know, some people doing bad out there, tell them you love them, tell them you're part of your community, and they'll be shocked by that as opposed to butting heads. Or, or if you're on the streets and you see some of my brand new police office on the street, just say good afternoon to them or good evening. You know, it may be tough where you have, sometimes you have feelings, um, from whatever background you come from, but say that, and that breaks the ice, and I guarantee you 99% of the time, they'll respond to kind. Um, and again, we're going to have situations again in the future, but it's how we deal with our community. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. There's an entry from a group called Ceasefire. Ceasefire was an uh, organization that started right here in Chicago. And it's a, a group of people that's going around, real people, that's going around in the streets, that's stopping these problems, you know. If, if your kids are out there fighting, they get that hole they did. Somebody got killed, they hit me that they're gonna make sure that they bring the peace down. So after that violence, after somebody get killed or something, they're gonna we'll go further than that. You know, so we want y'all to watch this quick documentary real quick and then we'll get into that. The ages of 13 to 24 to stand up. I'm gonna be real honest with you all because see, we real talking up in here because Duke is real laying right in front of us. Bring up our community to be vibrant. 
Do you deserve to be 